Hi everyone, your Connect Guru Dave Walker here, and once again, it's time to take a look at a new version of Adobe Connect. Adobe Connect 9 is now available, and it's got some great new features that I want you to know about. Specifically, the new Events module is so much more robust and so easy to use that it's hardly the same application we were using in previous versions. So let's take a look. The first thing you'll want to know is that Adobe is changing the way they price the Events module. It used to be that they charged one price for the events module, which gave you unlimited usage for as many event administrators as you needed. Now they're going to allow you to purchase an event manager license for each event manager you need in your organization. To learn more, check with our solution consultants here at Intisol for current pricing. The next cool thing is that now Connect lets you use event templates to create your events. You can choose from the shared default templates or create your own. The information you enter for the event will flow into this page into the appropriate placeholder, including banner images, speaker image, and the descriptions that go along with them. The interface for editing a template, which includes an event info page, a speaker info page, an event registration page, and an event login page, is elegant and simple. It's based on Adobe's enterprise CMS called CQ. You can move elements to other parts of the page by simply dragging and dropping. You can also add elements from the CQ5 panel by again, dragging and dropping. So if I want to add another image to my template, I just find the image component in my panel, drag it onto the page and drop it where I want it. Double click. Then I can just drag the image I want right from my desktop. Pretty cool. Here's what the resulting landing page looks like for this template. But of course, the ones you design can look completely different to suit your needs. While we're in the editor, I want to show you that we can also choose to edit our email templates. Connect now supports HTML formatting for emails. The layout of email messages can be changed using the same CQ5 interface that we saw for editing the event templates. In addition, we can edit the catalog page, which is how Connect displays a list of public events. Connect even gives us the embed code we need to add the event catalog to our own website. So now, when I create a new event, the first thing I need to do is select the template I want to use. Then, the event data that I define on this page will flow into that template. In our next video, we'll talk about some of the new event features that we find on this setup page. Until then, you can reach me via the email address on the screen if you have any questions about Adobe Connect 9.